Ladies and gentlemen, we have found the latest and greatest masterpiece from Liberty Coach. And Frank, I know you just went through back surgery, so thanks for having us out today to see this incredible coach. Uh, what's going on here, sir? Well, this is a new 2024 double slide. As we've been mentioning in the last few videos, we did two double slides in a row. This is the second one. This is for a client that's had coaches over the last 30 years. This is his second or third Liberty Coach. Last one was a triple slide, uh, 2020. Now we're into a, obviously a 24 96 60. So this was all built with their touches on it and in conjunction with uh, Kim and Kurt working on it and us working on it together. So pretty excited about how this all came out for them. Yeah, I'm really excited for the new owner and the new owner was actually one of my detail customers when I was detailing motorhomes. And he told us that if we ever saw his coach and it was ever dirty to automatically do the detail and he paid us every time. So we really appreciate the new owner of this coach and that 21 that just came in on trade, I can vouch that that coach has been very well detailed and cared for as no well. Question. So. No question. Really nice paint job on this unit. This was done with the client and Dean together. So good to see some different colors as opposed to what we have been seeing for a while. So this is a good change. Interior wise, there's some really cool touches in there as well. So excited about going through it all. Yeah, and we were asking him what his inspiration was and he says he let you guys do what you thought would be best. Really cool what Kim did with the interior mm -hmm. design on this coach, but I think we can take a quick look around the bays yep, here. Absolutely. I'm going to open these up. I know your back is uh, still a little sore here. Yep. And that's such a nice advantage of these double slide yep. coaches, how easily we can open these doors. We're not bending under any slide rooms, even here in the back of the coach. First bay, we go into our slide out trays, which we've done before. A lot of height in here with ours, the, the drawers that are in here, the slide out tool tray here. Second bay, this has actually been changed to be a little bit larger because of the uh, Kenyan grill being stored in here as opposed to when it normally is done in the third bay. And we'll show that here in a second why that change was done. We've got the big TV, the 65 inch TV. Even after back surgery, I thought I was going to have to pull that out for you, but nope. pretty effortless. We're good. And again, manufactured by Liberty Coach. Sound bar at the bottom of it as well. Third bay here, we go into the entertainment center. There was a change that was done here to do an ice maker down here and a drawer type refrigerator unit that has a freezer on top. So a little change there. So with that said, then the grill unit needed to be moved to a different location. Crestron panel to operate all of the equipment inside and outside can all be done at this location. There's also remote controls, RF remotes to be able to operate the TVs and awnings and what have you out there. We also have the manual push buttons down here as well for the awning controls because I always like to have a lot of redundancy built into the coach so if you do have a certain section of the electronics that is you know malfunctioning or hiccuping you always have redundancy back to a, a push button to be able to make things function properly yes sir and talking about that redundancy real quick if a uh, liberty coach owner is in a situation where they need some help is there a, a customer service hotline or is there resources that they can call we have a system built on uh, our email which is service office at liberty coach.com that actually comes to myself and the entire team so everybody can see issues that are coming up or that customer has that way everybody's copied on it and I can see that we're taking care of it as quickly as possible we have the phone number that we can get on which is the service phone number 800-554-9877 we also have an after hours number as well which is on the website that goes through a, a chain of phones mine being one of it also if something gets missed on that phone phone call goes to a voicemail, then it goes to an email, which hits the service office email address so we can see these things as they populate. Each one of the texts has their own numbers that people can text with as well. So yes, there's always availability to get a hold of somebody, for sure. Yes, sir, I hear over and over how impressed Liberty Coach owners are with the service that they receive here. And then you've also done several owner testimonial videos on your YouTube uh, and social media channels as well, uh, worth checking out where some of those Liberty Coach owners give you a good review you there. Yep, so. Thank you. Appreciate yes, that. Now you mentioned this is a bus air coach. Uh, being a double slide, it allows it to have that bus air. That was one of the big reasons this owner chose to have a double slide. Uh, how many coaches are you putting bus air in every year? Probably two out of the production we do. A year will be bus air. 
and uh, we need to revisit. You know, the bus air is really only available on double slide coaches, mainly because of the fact of weight. Another factor is when you add an additional slide in the rear or a quad where a, you've got a slide in the front, we now do not have any ability to duct the air conditioning because the bus air ducts through the wall on the sidewall up to the window area or where we can bring it out in the tow space or even into the ceiling area. When you have the slides on the driver's side of the coach and we have the ability to run the bus air supply down the entire passenger side and we can bring it up in some areas on the on the driver's side. When you start doing the triples and the quads that is eliminated so there's no way to get the air conditioning out and plus the weight. So this is an additional 750 pounds to the coach so when you look at weight characteristics by the time you take this off and add a slide say a triple you balance that equation. So there's a few different uh, reasons for that. But this is 10 ton of air conditioning, runs off a compressor that's mounted to the engine, and then you have 150,000 BTU of heat as well going down the road. Okay, that's a pretty expensive option from Prevo as well. Yeah. Cost-wise, you know about uh, what? Cost on this is right around $30,000, which almost is, a again, a balance between this cost and a additional slide. So by the time you look at doing a triple slide to a double slide, the shell price is almost the same, and then the interior price is virtually the same as well. So there's almost no price difference between doubles and triples. Whatever the customer mm -hmm. prefers. Sure. Fifth bay here is our wet bay, water bay. So we've got the 40 gallon water heater, stainless steel water heater, water pump. We've got the tankless water heater for the shower. So this allows the shower valve to have continuous hot water should the water heater have a hiccup or a problem. But the water heater is 40 gallons. We've had to revisit that question a couple of different times as opposed to doing the hydronic heating systems in some of the coaches that the water heater is tied to or the water heater is part of the hydronic heating system. We don't do it that way. It conserves space by doing it this way. We have 40 gallons of hot water capacity, which then you have an additional storage capacity of 40 gallons of fresh water on top of the water tank that we have, which is approximately 170 gallons. And then our hydronic heating system is stored above the axles in the back on the driver's side, which then again saves us space by doing such. And then also you've pointed out that the maintenance on those hydronic systems are quite expensive per year if you're not using them all the time and then you have to worry about if that goes down then you don't have any hot water per se. The hydronic systems when you're using that as far as your domestic hot water the water has to be going slow through that system so that it gets hot at the other end. Thus, when you turn on the faucets or the shower in those coaches that use that type of system, you have nearly not enough water pressure or water volume compared to what you have in your home and certainly not compared to what we have here. So you've got a system that's far superior in what we do here as far as water pressure, water supply, water volume. Holding tank is over here on this side as well. It's an aluminum holding tank. It's virtually the same size as what the fresh water tank is, right around 170 gallons. The fresh water tank is stainless steel. We have the ability to dump the holding tank from both sides of the coach. So you have driver and passenger side, they're air operated valves so that you can operate those from the inside of the coach when you're hooked up so you don't have to worry about coming outside to do that. You have the controls outside as well, but it's nice to have them inside. Reverse osmosis Culligan water filtration system, that goes to the refrigerator. So the ice maker and the water dispenser at the refrigerator has that reverse osmosis. You have the ability to hook city water up on both sides of the coach here on the passenger side. The driver's side then is a 100 foot uh, hose reel that is electrically retract and manually pulled out. We have a number of locations in the coach where you can tell what the levels of the tanks are and alarms as well. So you're not just down here with those monitors, you have those on the iPads as well as all of the Crestron panels. So with the iPads, you've got three iPads, Crestron panels, you have three of those, plus the panels here, you've got a lot of ability to see what's going on with your water capacity. 
capacities as well. Yes, sir, and with a 170 gallon uh, fresh and 170 gallon holding tank, you probably don't need to check those too often. Not you can so go often. quite, a, right. quite some so time. Right. Yes, sir. Come back in here. This is the Prevo service door. This is their rear service compartment here uh, where their electronics is, their junction panels, and also the engine starting batteries are going to be located back in here as well. Storage area here, we've got the stainless steel box that we build here, storage box, which is vented, so people do hoses, belts, all kinds of stuff in here that they need. So we've got a lot of nice storage here that we build. We've got a outlet here for a trailer power that's 220 volt 30 amp outlet and we have a shore power inlet here as well so you can hook shore power to the coach here if need be if your cord reel happens to go down. Volvo D13 500 horse 1850 foot pounds of torque this has the belt guard installed on it as we've seen before some customers like it on there some like it to have it removed you've got the belts that run through here as well they're always on constant tension there's a constant air pressure bellows that's also keeping the belts tightened over here for the Volta alternator and for the alternators that are on the coach as well as the over the road bus AC compressor. So there's a lot that's going on back here. We talk about this often. Service is a huge part of Prevo's world. So all the things that you see going on back here are time and mileage tested and proven. You know, the millions of miles that these coaches drive in a yearly basis all over the entire Prevo fleet is incredible. Not only in the seated industry, but the entertainer industry and plus our industry as well. So there's a, a lot of, of knowledge that's running around on this shell. Nobody takes care of the product better than Prevo, without a doubt. A lot of research and development that just goes into all mm -hmm. of this piggybacking on the seated bus and tour bus industry, there's a lot of value No to question. That. You, know, look at, you can see here, for example, these frame members or chassis members, these are all stainless steel. Nobody builds a shell like that. I mean, this thing's going to be lasting two and a half to three million miles. It's not a joke. It'll happen. This coach does have also the electric fans. So there's eight fans that are electrically driven back here. That started on the 2020 model year coaches. We're now getting into six years basically of that system from the time it was originally introduced to when we have it in production. We don't have that belt driven uh, angle drive for the radiator cooling fan any longer. So we have less vibration, less noise as well. This is super quiet, plus it's more fuel efficient. I've got to point out, you're actually standing underneath the bedroom slide room here. It's got to be close to 6'4 off of the ground. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of headroom below the slide slides. When we were getting some rolling shots of this coach, these floating center caps here, kind of like the Rolls Royce style, yep. no one else in the industry is doing yep. that. That's that's the new norm? Yep, that's the new norm. We, uh, we're we really uh, proud of how that looks going down the road. I always liked how that looked on the Rolls Royces. <laughs> yes, sir. And I'm just curious, that's got to be pretty expensive. No yep. one else is doing that. Yep. Pretty expensive to make yep. that happen. Yep, it is. And so we also have the ability to put those on the uh, polished aluminum American Racing Wheel Pro units. We don't have that availability to do on the black ones, but we do on these. So these yeah. are stainless steel as well. Very classy design. And I've got to point out, while we're standing here, the bottom of this slide room is finished. We can see that paint scheme glowing in a mirror effect off the bottom of the slide room. Every square inch gets finished out in these coaches. You guys aren't cutting any corners? No, not anywhere, not anywhere. Well, and you can see the work that Dean's guys and Dean does as well. The paint scheme, you know, transitioning through the whole slide room. You know, when the slides are out, you can see how the paint transitions. It's not just, okay, fine, let's paint it black. And when the slide's in, it looks great, but it looks just the same or better when the slide rooms are out. Dean is a true artist, and no one is doing artwork on this scale at this level anywhere in the world. Blind spot detection system. We have that as well on the 2024 model year coaches. We've been doing that exclusively since 2021. So there's three radars that are built onto the side of the coach. Those also have to be painted by Dean's guys and they have to be done in a specific type of paint so it doesn't upset the radar. So even the metallics that are in there have to be a certain thickness and the paint a certain thickness so it doesn't upset those devices. So here we have the driver's side fifth bay. Our signature design here with the polished stainless steel cover for the the holding tank. We've got the copper polish system here for the plumbing. Plumbing on the holding tank is done as a single tank, so we have the gray water bypass, which bypasses the gray water away from the tank and out onto a garden hose if you have the ability to do that and it's legal where you're at. Otherwise, it goes into the holding tank. 
So if you have the ability to bypass the gray water, you can stay you know, for days without having to worry about your black water being drained out. Sewer hose storage is done up here. We have the 100 foot hose reel, as I mentioned before, on the driver's side. We have a washout pull out hand sprayer unit here and then also opted by the customer to have a hose bib out here that he could hook a hose on and wash the side of the coach down or wash the front down whatever so you've got the filtered water coming out of there as well. The 75 foot electric cord reel comes out through the side here of the coach because this coach has the over the road air conditioning or bus air so the evaporator fans are located behind here the condensers on the other side so with that said we don't have the ability to bring it up from underneath like we do on a triple or a quad. This is the bay that would normally be like a closet? Yes. Okay. Right. We've well, got the storage bins or the closet here. So this is where we do lose some storage on a bus aired coach as opposed to the triples and quads. So there's some give and take yep, there. There is. Diesel fuel is here as well as the def. There's diesel fuel through a locking door on the passenger side as well. So you have the ability to fuel the coach on both sides. DEF is done here. And again, we point this out often, this level of being able to get the fuel in the tank, you can run those big things wide open. You don't have to worry about them burping back at you. You're not underneath somewhere trying to put fuel in underneath the slide room, or you're not having to go somewhere else to put DEF in the coach. It's all located right here. As we know, people that travel and use the coaches throughout you go into the truck stops, they got the def and the fuel, you know, right there where it needs to be. At torso level as mm -hmm. well, so yep. no need to bend down. And then I'll open these doors for you, sir, but I just want to point out, you know, I'm 6'2", but I can easily jump under here, open these up. Still very accessible underneath oh, yeah. this slide. Yep. Generator, third bay, driver's side here. We're going to have the Onan 12 and a half KW unit here. Ladder, something we point out quite often. We supply each coach with a ladder, not just some flimsy, you know, something. It's a substantial ladder to be able to get to the roof of the coach if need be. It's always nice sometimes to get up there and check the slide rooms to make sure they're clear of debris before you start moving the slides in and out as well, even though there are wipers on there. But sometimes debris does get up underneath there and that does cause the slide rooms not to seal properly also. Second bay driver's side, this is our electric architecture here where we've got the DC distribution panel. We have mounted to the ceiling here, we've got the Volta battery management system and then our stainless steel box here is the Liberty AC power transfer switch box which we make everything for that to go in. Awning chairs or the, what's always been called the awning chairs, the Zipti chairs that match the awning fabric so you've got one on each of the first two bay doors on both sides. We have a buddy plug here, so if something happens with your neighbor, you can run your neighbor off of the generator on the coach, or you can run your house off of the generator on the coach if need be, you know, to a certain extent. Battery system that's on the coach is the Volta 58 volt system. It has three 5,000 watt inverters, so you have the ability to run two of those inverters stacking for 220 volt. So we have the ability to run the Mealy microwave oven, which is a convection oven also, and the washer dryer, which is 220 Bosch, or in this coach is actually an ASCO unit. So you have the ability to run both of those units going down the road without the generator. So we have a lot of ability to do things on this coach without generator power. When you look at the fact that it has the over the road bus air conditioning system, so we are not running any of the roof airs going down the road. So your batteries are just sitting there kind of idle going down the road. That's a big advantage on that part. You know, there's give and take on everything, but the Roof air is not necessary to use. I mean, you can hang meat in this coach going down the road. And there's no question that Liberty Coach has led the entire RV industry in the lithium technology. Everyone from, you know, B vans all the way up are catching on to this technology. Mm -hmm. But we've been having this conversation for several years now. Yeah. How long has Liberty Coach been utilizing lithium technology? So now we're going into close to 15 years. We started in 2010 and the first 2011 coaches, and in fact, all of the 2011 coaches had lithium ion battery technology. And then we transitioned to the Volta units in 2016 for the 2017 model year units. It's interesting, I see some of the blog stuff that's out there on coaches that people have gone aftermarket and done lithium ion battery installations and how they, wow, this has been working so well. And it's interesting when I see 
reports that they drove X amount of time down the road, like six hours, and you know they see one or two percent increase on their state of charge. I mean, we go from a 20 percent state of charge to a hundred percent state of charge on two massive battery banks in two and a half hours of driving. So, I mean, we are pumping a lot of energy back into these battery banks, and there's a lot of energy that we can take out. So, overnight usage, if you will, or one air conditioner and utilizing the interior. You know, I see people say, well, we ran one air conditioner and it went X amount of time. I said, okay, that's great, but what else did you use in the coach? You know, you've got refrigerators. We have three actually here with the ice maker, the lower bay, plus the inside. You've got an air conditioner, you've got all the electronics, how many lights, how many TVs were on, how many other pieces of equipment are running in the background all the time and we can run 15 to 16 hours from 100% of charge to 20% of charge with one AC on. Okay, so a lot of times that carries people through without even needing to run the generator the next day because they're on the road right away. Two air conditioners, you're probably gonna look at seven to eight hours. And again, some of this is also dependent on what the outside temperature is as well. So, you know, there's different ways to do this, but without a doubt, this coach and all of the Liberty coaches since 2017 have by far the most amount of energy built into the system, the best and most quickest, fastest, I should say, way to charge the systems back as well. You're the only one that I know that's using triple 5,000 watt inverters. Some of the other high-end coaches are only using like two 2800s or two 3000s. What would the reason being for them not using the 5,000 watt inverters and why do you make that choice? Well, mainly because of the fact that they don't have enough power because when you look at some of the stuff that's out there is 24 volt, we're at 58 volt. So, I mean, when you start to take the energy that it takes to run a 5,000 watt inverter to be able to power up a uh, air conditioner, to be able to power up an oven, to be able to do that, power always is the same, okay? So whatever the wattage is, is gonna be the wattage. So if your voltage is not high enough, the amperage draw goes up significantly, which means it depletes that battery bank down that much faster. So the higher your voltage going in, the less amount of amperage you're gonna draw to get the same wattage, the same power. All that being considered, they can't run those big inverters like that because they just don't have enough power behind it. So that's why we can and why we do. So it's a lot of equipment, it's not just the battery, just the inverter, it's all the equipment that goes right. into the electrical right. system. And there's a lot that has to do with the power transitions as well because we have one inverter, its only purpose in life is to run all the sensitive electronics. The refrigerator, the TVs, the Crestron systems, the, the satellite systems, the satellite internet systems, you know, all that type of stuff that doesn't like power transitions, that stays live 100% of the time. And we have backup to that because if that inverter happens to hiccup, then we have the ability to transition it over to the other part of the system so it can stay live all the time as well. So, you know, there's a lot of things that are built into this coach and the way that we do our systems to make sure that we're always live. Okay, because we always also require or are dependent upon the information that the coach can send to us or to the customer. So we get notifications, we build in notifications that if the system's getting ready to go into a shutdown mode, we're gonna get notified about it. All of us in the service department are gonna get it. The customer is gonna get it as well so that we can be on top of, hey, let's get the generator started or let's find out what happened at the shore power breaker trip or hey, did they ever turn the shore power breaker on? I mean, too often people go ahead and plug the coach in and don't even realize that the breaker's not on and they don't have any power because the whole coach is working fine on the battery systems. These are things that we look at and we get notified on to make sure that everything's working properly. With only 12 coaches a year, you're able to manage that. I, I can imagine having to manage you know, every coach on the road. If you did a high volume, it would probably get pretty difficult, oh, but yeah. I think you, you treat each one of these coaches like like a child yeah, almost. Absolutely, no yes, question. Sir. First bay here, pretty well wide open. A lot of interior height. That's what the Prevo H does for us. We get a lot of uh, room in the in the bays, not only width but height and you know everything, depth. There's a lot of volume there. So the 9660 chassis, we ended up with a new front end system, which is more rounded. The service door for Prevo now is a larger door here, so that we can get into all of the uh, electrical components right here for the Prevo front service area. And then of course, below for the main air distribution system as well. Nice big toll window here for paying the tolls. 
all nicely sealed. And I've got to point out, I don't think the doctor wants you lifting over 10 pounds or so, but you're opening these doors very easy, very effortlessly. Thank you. A lot was done on the front end of this coach by my brother. This whole front end treatment that's here, plus the caps, the front and rear cap for the 9660 had to be completely re-engineered and redesigned so that it enhanced the fuel savings that Prevo was trying to achieve by the new coach, taller windshields, more slope. This coach has the E-mirrors on it, as well as the standard mirrors, which you'll see on all of our coaches. At some point, if a customer wants, they can remove these, and there's a cap that's painted that can go over that if they want to get rid of those. But this coach does have both, and we'll see that on all of our units moving forward. We have an access panel here on the front of the Prevo, which is called a frunk, that comes down. You have access to both windshield wiper motors, which are now synchronous motors. There is not a tie rod in between any longer, so these motors then can run the taller windshield wipers to clear more. We have more availability for more speeds, more intermittent positions as well, and also they're significantly quieter. It's amazing how much quieter this coach is going down the road. We thought we had a quiet, nice coach, beautiful coach before. It's amazing what this coach is like driving down the road. The new headlight system, they're all LED, installed these rigid bumper lights in here, high intensity lights in here as well. They wanted a couple strobe lights on the front also, so in case they're you know parked somewhere, they want to gain some attention, we can <laughs> pop those on also, and it's got a full train horn, big, big train horn nice. behind here too, so all kinds of fun stuff we do. Very cool. This is an impressive exterior, but the owner of this coach let Kim do all the interior design on this, so yep. something to get excited this about. This is going to be really cool, for yes. sure. Let's yes, take sir. a look. Frank, I don't know how your sister-in-law comes up with so many different styles and designs, but this is really a masterpiece. Yeah, it is. And it's uh, great to see the colors that are in here as well, the coppery colors and, you know, the earth tone colors coming in here to tie into the exterior of the coach. She did a great job. There's no question about that. And the textures, you know, on the wall covers, the agate panels. We saw a couple of different styles of that here recently. And, you know, this is really kind of a great touch. It's not too bright. Yeah, these back Backlit accent walls are so crisp. Hopefully the cameras are doing uh, justice at how incredible all the textures are in this coach. But being a double slide, we still have a lot of room mm -hmm. here in the salon area. And then one of the big advantages is when the slide rooms come in, still very livable coach. Exactly. There's been some questions on there as well to see you know, the coaches with the slide rooms in to see what kind of room we actually do have in here. We talk about it. The room that we have in this coach when the slide rooms are in would be no different than if it was a, a non-slide coach. Still transition through the hallway with no problem, unlike, you know, the Class A's that are out there or some of the other units that you see where you can barely get two feet next to each other when you're trying to come through the slide rooms. It's pretty ridiculous. We have plenty of room here to get and, and maneuver and use while the slide rooms are in. In fact, most of the time on a double slide coach when we're going across country we rarely will put a slide out at all because we can still get around the bed we do have the mid bath on here as well it's a bath and a half coach but we still have the mid bath so you don't have to get back there other than if you wanted to shower but you can still walk around the bed with the slide room in so that makes a, a big advantage on that part so the coach is very usable with everything closed up. The galley here looks very, is it a little bit bigger it than is. some of the other galleys? So this is gonna be a bath and a half unit with an extended galley. So we've gone to the single chair in this unit, which I think we've been seeing more and more of because the two chair arrangement for a lot of people is kind of a little bit useless because that front chair ends up being a catch-all for everything. And so they end up transitioning the chairs you know, during the life of when they're using the coach, so they both look like they're being used together when they're really not. So as opposed to just having the wasted space there, then we've extended the galley here, single chair, you got a nice desk arrangement there that you can utilize, more storage down here in the galley. So we got quite a bit of room in here, nice deep, big drawers throughout. 
all solid, positive latched. We've talked about this before with people that have had comments that why aren't we using soft close hinges or soft close drawers because we like to make sure that we have a positive latch when the door or drawer is closed. So you know you got something that falls against the cabinet when you're driving down the road this is not going to open up. Okay a soft closed door is going to open up. So why do that when you still have to have some sort of a positive latch to keep it? Now the coach is very stable, we know it is when you're driving down the road, but there is some times where that could happen. You know, you load these drawers up with a significant amount of weight, they're going to start to want to open up on their own if they don't have some latching mechanism. So that's why we do that. Dinette area here, again we're seeing more and more of the TV being eliminated and the cabinet being eliminated here. So we have more open space, makes the whole area look larger as well. This countertop material is pretty cool, it gives you somewhat of a translucent look to it with the lighting behind it, so it really gives a, a very nice effect. I don't know if this is different, but we're noticing some indirect lighting and a little uh, countertop space here, mm -hmm. a little bit below your eating area. Is that something we've seen before? Or? Well, what this is, is that we have the slide bearing system here what's called the caissons that are in here. So we have to deal with what we're given here with the slide mechanism from Prevo. So then Kurt has designed this cover, if you will, for it, which also then becomes a drawer. And then we have a countertop area then here too. Utilizing all that we can, plus all the storage that you have underneath the dinette bar area too. So there's a significant amount that you don't see that's behind there too. These bar stools are all on slide mechanisms so they can slide back and forth. These stools we make in-house so all of the nice brads that are done on here this is all done by us. All the upholstery work is done by us as well so it's you know perfect. Yeah and I have to compliment just how crisp and precise all of the upholstery work just every square inch of this coach uh, the fit and finish is second to none well we do all that in-house so you know you look at all the wall treatments that are done all of these parts here that are on either side of the valances those are all upholstered and they're all soft there's just not fabric put on a piece of wood that's actual you know foam behind there to give it a soft feel it also has a lot to do with sound insulation as well so the coach is quieter on the inside also interior part of the coach as far as insulation factors that we have you can pretty well figure about an R14 factor we have the cabinetry is built with a full back to it and a ceiling as well so that back that's on there actually is an insulation board that is attached to the back of the cabinet so we have an airspace plus we have the insulated wall of the Prevo chassis and then we have the cabinet so we have more insulation in there also. It's just not taking the cabinet and building it to the framework of the coach. There's actually a piece of furniture that's completely enclosed piece of furniture before it goes into the coach. Your family has been building coaches for over 50 years. Mm -hmm. A lot of time to learn a lot of little uh, little tricks of the trade here. Exactly, no question. And then going back to you're the only one in the industry who's got a lifetime workmanship warranty mm -hmm. to the original owner. Mm -hmm. That warranty squeaks and rattles. Yep. Unheard of that. You're still doing that? Absolutely, we are. The owner of this coach knows it too. Oh, hold your no feet question. to the fire. <laughs> exactly. So no, we've been very proud of that and that's how we build our coach. And you know, we take them out and drive them and push them as hard as we can to make sure that we are building it right so we don't have to worry about the squeaks and rattles. I mean, you know, one of these days we need to take coach out for a ride and have the microphones on and see how it is. Hey. It's for real. Hey, that's on our list. We're, mm -hmm. we're ready for that. And I've got to also point out, um, I think the last five or six coaches that we filmed here with you the owners that are taking delivery have been RVing for like 10, 20, 30 plus years, all veteran RVers. So really says something that the, the people that have been doing this for a long time are choosing Liberty Coach. Oh, yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. You know, and they've been longtime customers of ours. They've moved from one manufacturer to another. They've sometimes gone back and forth and then have landed back at Liberty Coach and have been very satisfied. We were working on second generation customers as well while the first generation still has a coach or that we're building a new one for also or what have you. So we're very proud of that accomplishment also. There's some questions that have come up about you know longevity of coaches and how long do they last and you know we we have coaches that are out there. I just had an email uh, yesterday into the service department 
that I caught from a customer that's got a 1989 Liberty looking for parts for a generator that was done. So the coaches are out there and they're being used and it's great to see that. You know, we see stuff that back in the late 70s, you know, there's all kinds of stuff that's out there. So it's great to see. These customers have the highest level of expectations and they are always pushing you. I hear some of these conversations. So you're, you're definitely uh, keeping up with them. Thank you. So some of the other questions that have come up and what we look at here, again, we touched on it being a double slide coach, how much room there is in the coach. So as far as what you get on doubles, triples, and quads, your triple slide coach would be identical here, okay? Identical up in this area. Your triple then would be the second slide in the bedroom passenger side. You would gain a little bit more storage in that area because of how that slide room configuration is. So you gain some more drawer space. As far as the rest of the space that's in the coach, there's not that much more, you know, comparatively different. In a quad, obviously the quad, we end up with the slide up here in the kitchen area. So what that does is it tightens up your kitchen area. So you don't have as much countertop area. You don't have as much to play with in here because of the slide room configuration. So you do get a lot more airspace in a quad. It's beautiful, it's big airy, you know, a lot of room to walk around, but as far as what your actual storage capacity is on the interior, you don't have as much. And it's just because of every slide room takes out almost 18 inches out of your floor plan length, and we're not getting any more length of the coach. So it's got to get tightened up somewhere. But yes, sir, and this is a great <laughs> utilization of space. We kind of passed over this front area up here. This cabinet here is great utilization for a desk area laptop can sit here uh, we have some customers that are doing monitors here as well we have the ability to do a printer down here they wanted to stay with a dvd player here as well there are two apple tvs that are in the coach also you've got storage there plus you have storage over here as well yeah almost like a matte white countertop mm -hmm. uh, really yeah. cool style yeah, yeah you're not going to see the scratches on that at all it'll wear very very well no question about that. So cockpit here, this is the new 9660 cockpit, which Kurt did all of the design work with, um, the design of how the panels are done, the radio installations, the switches, you know, the, the upholstery part of it, how everything was all done, was all put together by Kurt. Horn cover for the wheel, you know, everything. So we have here the E-mirrors. You've got the E-mirror displays on the driver here and the passenger here. So as opposed to having something that's over on the passenger windshield post, it's on the center pillar. So when you're driving down the road, you have view of everything outside and inside just by looking straight out. This coach again has the standard mirrors as well. So you've got those to be able to view. We have our blind spot detection systems that are located here for the indicators on those. The coach has lane departure on the new 9660 also, as well as the advanced driver assist for the cruise control, adaptive cruise, collision alert, which also applies braking to the coach uh, as well. Clamp here, which is a wireless clamping device for your phone, so we can Apple CarPlay to the Pioneer radio unit for navigation. You can also use your Android phone for that purpose also. The 12-inch iPad display here has all functionality of the coach via Crestron through iPad as well as a driving page, which brings up your rear camera. We have a number of different cameras on this coach. We have the 360 bird's eye view camera system, which Liberty Coach started to install uh, exclusively in 2016. We have that display up here. We have a camera that looks directly onto the hitch ball of the coach so you can monitor when you're towing a trailer or when you're towing a vehicle behind. We also have the pan tilt camera back there as well and of course the cameras that are you know for the e-mirrors also. So there's a lot going on here so that you can see what's happening. Switch placement is perfect because it's easy to get to. We now have on the 9660 air vents that are up here more toward the driver's face and head as opposed to just the ones that were down here toward the waist. So he's got a lot more air supply for the driver's air conditioning and heat system up in here as well. We now have a push button start mechanism as opposed to a key. So you have the key fob that comes with the coach you then have a switch to turn on you press the brake push the button and we've got the engine fired up a lot of stuff in the new dash display as well with the information center it's a massive upgrade from what the classic h uh, had been to what we have here at the 9660. we also have a center pillar monitor that's up mounted up here as well this customer will be towing a trailer so there's cameras on the trailer so he'll be able to monitor 
those cameras from that display and monitor other parts of the coach via the iPad. Leveling system here, this is a valid leveling system. We opted to go with that on the 9660 chassis, even though Liberty Coach had always built our own automatic leveling system. Prevo went ahead and made some adjustments and changes to the suspension leveling system on the 9660, where we now have a height control valve on the left and right front of the coach as opposed to just being in the center of the front and also the left and right rear. So now there's four positions for a flexibility of leveling. So the valid control system worked out really well for that. So we're really happy with how that system works now as well. A lot of really cool features here. And uh, if you get a chance to get into our place and get to see one of these and get your hands on it, I really recommend doing so. Yes, sir. And I've got to point out the stitching on these captain's chairs. It's just incredible how much detail when you look at the double stitch with the perforated leather, but then there's a small gap in between the double stitching and the leather. When you look at other diamond stitching and other high-end motorhomes, a lot of people are doing different patterns, but not this level of intricacy. And when you look at it closely with the suede piping, the two-tone, uh, the different perforated surfaces here, just incredible the fit and finish on these captain's chairs. Well, yeah, when you start to really dive into that and drill drill down to it you can see that the stitching is virtually perfect as opposed to some of the other stuff that you see out there where the st stitching is kind of mishmashed around lines aren't quite yeah, straight <laughs> no question right one of the other things that has come up you know as far as questions mid-entry does Prevo do a mid-entry coach mid-entry coach is something that Prevo does do there's been a couple of them that have been out there built they're mainly utilized in the corporate world because this area here would be more used as a meeting area and then this then would be more of a private area what we have to think about here is if you do a mid-entry you've got a stairwell that you have to contend with and how much of the interior now have you eaten up by putting it here. With the door in the front of the coach, that area is pretty much wasted or useless anyway, other than just to have a passenger seat. So the amount of room that you have in there for the stairwell works out perfect. You're not taking away any bay space by having the door up there, where here you're taking away bay space and you're taking out of your interior as well. Especially when you start to look at how we're going to do a quad slide in here and where is that going to end up and what the structure, what have you. So there's pluses to having that, but there's also some significant challenges with it as well. But if someone did want a custom order, a mid-entry Liberty coach, that is something that can be done? Sure, we would have to look at that you know, quite a bit in the future based upon where we are in shell deliveries and shell specifications. Now they're already into mid-2025. But yeah, that's something that could be looked at in the future. And I'm sure there's uh, probably some significant cost to there that type of- There would have to be, there's no question. Yes, that sir. would be pretty much kind of a one-off deal, which, you know, we're a custom house. That's what we do sometimes. Well, you never know what viewer has a checkbook and yeah. wants to put yeah. you to the test. So. Exactly. Coming through here, we got nice pantry area here, nice rollouts. Everything's lit, nicely lighted. You've mentioned that many times when you open up all of our cabinetry. We have more here as well. A lot of pantry storage here in this coach. Mid toilet room. Yeah, and that backsplash, backsplash. Yeah. it's just incredible. No, is this the same stone that we saw in 906 or was it a similar type similar. stone? Very similar, yeah. I think this is a little bit darker. I think these are the first two coaches I've seen with a dark stone. Usually mm -hmm. it's a lighter stone, but I really like what you yep. guys did. Thank you. Nice solid doors all the way through. Refrigerator, Fisher Paykel with the freezer drawer unit. Yes, sir, and when you knocked on this, I challenge people when they're going through like an RV show, start knocking on doors and just, yep. that's just really solid. There's no question, there's no yes, question. Can't find a lot of houses like that today. No, sir. So, come down through the hallway, nice big closet arrangement here. You've got two closets here as you're coming through the hallway. Nice drawers as well. Washer dryer is going to be back in here. Bedroom area here, king size bed, king size width. We're cut back here about four inches on our length. This is our standard bed arrangement that we do. So when this bed is in, you can get through here when the slide room's in. So this also is larger back here than we had a while back this starts in the 2020 model year so we're in 2024 we have six inches more width here with the slide room being out because the slide room in the back went to a 30 inch depth like the front slide is a 30 inch depth as well yeah a lot of room in here still being a double slide and 
And I've just got to compliment the woodwork on the ceiling above the bed here. Just such high end finishes. Uh, really tip my hat to Kim. Well, you know, there's not any place that you can look in our coach and go, okay, fine. They messed up there or they didn't finish that, what have you. I mean, there's a lot of times that I stay in coaches and you're laying in the bed or you're using something and you're like, you know, we didn't have to do it that way, but it just is perfect that way. So, you know, it's a lot to be said for owners that are using coaches and being involved in the day-to-day -day hands on operations for sure. Like my brother is, like I am, like our entire family is. Back wall here, a lot of cool textures here, dimensional. We did a little drawer arrangement here on both sides, so we're trying to utilize all the space that we can, the flat charger bases that are here. Plus we have outlets in the back of the slide room here that pull up. So you've got USB charge ports as well as 110 volt outlets. Nice storage areas on the either side of the TV cabinet and nice drawer space, you know, throughout. And again, even though we don't have a slide room over on this side, we still have some really good storage over here as well. Yes, sir, and it's extremely well lit, especially in that rear bathroom. Looking through that camera, it's almost like there's just a, a back glow behind you here. Yeah, there is, no question. And it's, you know, again, this is something that we listen to our customer base and you know when you travel not even in the coaches but here in hotel rooms and stuff you just can't get enough light it seems like so now in these coaches that have been the new look coaches since 2019 and 2020 we've got a lot of light in the in the bathrooms of the coach to give everybody a lot of good view nice big tall shower i'm a little over six foot so i have good height in here all tiled the floor of this like we talk about in all the videos our floor is a full stainless steel pan that we manufacture in-house that pan is put down then it's mudded and the tiles done the walls are all rock wall just like you'd find in a house so there's no way that water is going to get out of the shower at all ever unless the door's got a problem or the door's open. Rear vanity area here, we've got a nice cabinet, lots of drawer space in the vanity area as well. Good storage underneath, nice big sink. We've got cabinets on either side here as well. Nice touch latches on some areas so you're not getting hit, you know, with your elbows and what have you. All the equipment for the running the electrical as far as the remote control systems and the video systems is all located back in here as well as the internet access systems. So everything's done easy to get to. It's all vented very well also, so it's, you know, all professional. Yes, sir, and the owner of this coach mentioned that Starlink was installed. Liberty Coach mm -hmm. can install that as an option yep. from the factory? Yep. We sure do. We sure have been. This is probably our eighth unit I think that we've done. Probably done easily a dozen units here at the dealership aftermarket. It's worked out very very well. I think as you know more and more of the satellites get put up there there's going to be less and less of the quote-unquote dead areas which right now I really haven't heard too many of at this point but it's worked out very well for people and then we still have the cellular based internet data systems which really should be kept in the coach as well because you get into a situation obviously like being inside of a building a lot of people like to store their coaches inside they like to be able to maintain some sort of communication with the coach so they can see what's going on if they got cameras inside or outside or maintaining the refrigeration or maintaining the temperature inside the coach it's kind of hard to do that when you have an internet system that's based on satellite and you can't see it when it's inside a building. So the cellular systems are, are still, I think, mandated as well. Frank, we really appreciate you going against the doctor's orders and taking time to spend with us today and show us this beautiful coach. Now, if someone's a serious and qualified buyer, who can they get a hold of? Well, the best thing to do is to get a hold of us through the website. Go on the libertycoach.com website. We have a number of units that are now in inventory on the used side. So you can look at those units. You can inquire about the new ones that you know we have been delivering also. You would email in coach sales at libertycoach.com. That'll get right into us and then we'll distribute that out to the salespeople and then they'll get right back to you. You can also call in 800-554-9877. We have a number of the salespeople are listed on the website. You can contact them directly too via their email addresses or their telephones. We have the other company, the Motorhome Exchange, which is run by Dave Wall. So we have the coaches that are outside of 10 year production of Liberty Coach. So you're basically gonna look at anything from 2014 and older is gonna be uh, out there now, or a non-Liberty Coach product is gonna be on that website or involved in that company. We now have coaches on the new side. We are sold into June of 2025. So we're already pushed right through 2024 
production year and we're going to be working into 2025 so we're about halfway through 2025 at this point so you know we have coaches that are available for any slide configuration that they want to do double triple quad we can do that we also have a great uh, used inventory as i mentioned that's come in in the last few months also yeah, the best pre-owned inventory we've seen in several years, a lot of opportunities yeah, right now. Sure. Frank, I really appreciate you taking the time. And I also want to give a, a special thanks to the owner of this coach and the owners of all of these Liberty coaches, because every time they purchase one of these, they're creating a lot of jobs yeah. from your family to me, yeah. to the detail guys and everyone that builds these coaches. So a huge thanks to all the owners of these coaches. We really appreciate them. Yeah. Thank you very much, Andrew. Appreciate awesome. it. Thank all you. Right. Thank you guys. Love the comments. Keep them coming. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it.